Hey YouTube, this is Star Strike Duelist, and today we will be doing a discussion video on practicing in Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, before I get started, I have to make a quick correction. Um, on my previous video, it was a Shadal deck profile. I accidentally made an error. I said Conceller Pallades of XYZ is a generic monster. It is definitely not. It requires lights uh, to summon it, but uh, I guess I was playing Hat for too long, so I was used to summoning it, you know, with moral text and stuff. So that is uh, my bad. I just wanted to fix that. Don't worry. During no point in the tournament that I actually summon it, and I already mentioned in the deck profile that was going to be one of the cards I cut out uh, when I acquired uh, acquired a second window or an Armades or what was the third one? Um, a Levier. So no big deal, but I want to make sure I fix that for you guys in case uh, some of you were still concerned about it because I got a lot of comments about it. So I just want to apologize for that. But anyway, for today's video, we're going to be talking about, as I said, practicing. Now, uh, Robbie Cole, M. Cole 40, recently, like uh, maybe a week or so ago, uh, made a video about how some about practicing and if uh, it's good to practice for an event. And I understand that some people don't like to practice. Uh, they think they're already like really confident with their deck. Uh, they like to go with the no sleep, no practice rule, you know, to each his own, like whatever works for you. But today I kind of want to talk about why I think practicing uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh! is very important. Now, you know, in anything you do with life, whether it's in school, something like math, um, or anything really, or with sports, practicing is really important. Like a lot of people, unless you're like naturally like talented in something, it's very hard to just pick up something and be a master at it. So in Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, before you go on an event, I want to talk about some of the benefits that you will definitely get before uh, with practicing. Now, practicing will let you uh, allow you to know the ins and outs of your deck. And I think this is important because there's two main parts of Yu-Gi-Oh. There's playing uh, against your opponent um, and really playing against yourself as well. Now, you have to know that your opponent uh, is probably going to be pretty knowledgeable with their deck. So why shouldn't you be really good with your own? You know, you can't just expect to go into an event um, and know what you're doing. No, you need to be fully aware of your deck's capabilities. Uh, say your opponent puts a really good board on field and you need to know how to get around it. Maybe your deck is capable of doing so, but you haven't practiced enough with your deck, so you don't know how to get out of certain situations. Knowing the ins, in your deck, uh, ins and outs of your deck will also help you uh, know different combos. Um, you need to know, like, for example, my good friend, uh, Denny Yu, uh, he brought Sylvan's the ARG 20k, and he mentioned how he believed he would have performed much better in the event if he knew more Sylvan combos, because it was a pretty advanced deck. And I feel like practicing will help you get there. You know, you can't just expect to pick up, like, a super advanced deck and know everything about it. Um, familiarizing yourself with the plays fully. This kind of go back goes back to the combo thing. Um, I think it is more specifically for the more combo oriented decks, you know, knowing the plays, you know, even in a basic deck though, you should still know the plays. It's not always like, oh, I can pick this up and play it. Unless it's something like Evil Swarm, then I don't know how much practice you need with that. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but yeah, so especially with the more advanced decks, like I say, Dragon Rulers, uh, where you can go into a multiple of things, you know, especially when you bring Soul Charge in the game, then it just gets crazy. Uh, Mermail, Sylvan, um, even things like Shadals, where there's so many things you can send to the grave, uh, different Shadal monsters with different effects, you know, it can get, uh, pretty hard, especially in complicated game states, you know, like, the reason why Yu-Gi-Oh! is hard is because first you have to learn, um, to use your deck and master it, then you have to know how to use it against your opponent's deck, um, and there's, you never know what you're gonna face in the event, you know, that's why practicing is important as well, because you need to know how to play, uh, every deck in the meta, and, like, as well as rogue matchups, because you never know what you're gonna be playing against at an event. Um, I believe practicing helps you get mentally prepared as well. When you know what you're doing and you're not um, stressing out about like the combos and trying to remember. I can remember this during wind-up format especially, um, the Shockmaster one, like just being super worried that you're doing the right thing. Um, same thing with Infernities, you know, what if you go through the whole combo and you made one mistake that could basically cost you the game, you know? Uh, so things like that where it's like a multiple steps in getting to your objective, uh, you need to... Uh, be mentally prepared in the fact that they'll make you less nervous. You also play at a better tempo, uh, better timing, so you don't go into time because I'm sure a lot of people don't like going into time. So just that mental preparation is really important as well. Um, practicing, one of the most important things that practicing will also get you is making better use of your cards. Um, say player A and player B, uh, they're playing the same deck and they are trying to accomplish the same field. Maybe they will eventually get to that same field, but maybe player A was making better use of his cards because he was better at the deck and he was able to use less resources and um, just give himself a better advantage. While player B, he got to the same field, but he used like all his resources and it wasn't the best way to get there. So if you know your deck really well um, and you know what you're doing, you can use less resources and help gain advantage over your opponent, which is something uh, really key in winning as well. 
Um, the thing that practicing will also get you, especially this is going to apply more to like one to two deck uh, formats, um, is in the mirror match. Now we saw uh, formats like Spellbooks versus Dragons, uh, even Shadals right now coming up where you see like a couple of decks are dominating. You know, Shadals might not be uh, tier zero or anything. I'm just using that an example because it's a recent release. Uh, but the point is that you're going to see a lot of mirror matches at events, you know, in an ex excessive amount. Uh, especially at major events and if you know your deck better you can outplay the mirror match obviously it is a card game and the luck of the draw should be taken into consideration you know it is a big contributing factor um i believe if you're a good player you can learn to outplay the mirror match because if you know your deck you're basically playing against yourself you know um practicing will just help make things a lot easier for you you know why don't give your opponent uh, the chance to win or capitalize off of your mistakes. If you're playing perfectly and you still lose, you know, then it happens. You know, sometimes your opponent draws better or their deck just, just like, played better, you know, um, that game. But just don't give your opponent the chance to capitalize off of, like, big mistakes and win because you didn't know what you were doing. So practicing will just help you play your own game very well, and I think that's just super important. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really all I have to say about the practicing thing. I definitely think it's important, whether it's in real life, Dueling Network, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to argue which one's the best. Um, just make sure you're practicing. Make sure you're practicing against good things, too. Um, a big thing that I tend to do, too, is that I think if I'm practicing and winning, it means your deck's good. No, you have to actually play against good decks because if you're just playing against random Crystal Beast, Vanilla, OTK uh deck uh karibo tk and you're winning you'll be like oh yeah my deck's really good but in reality it's not it's not going to stand a chance if you're not practicing against real meta um make sure you prepare for rogues matchups too you know like rogue is just important to practice against because you will see it at events as well but anyway guys uh before i go i need to make a quick announcement multi monster deals will be hosting a gold sarcophagus tournament not gold not any gold uh sarcophagus tournament but a sjc s1 we will be hosting it here in southern california at a local is called Pack Wars. The address will be down in the description below. And I would love it if you guys could kind of make it. Um, I have some information here actually I'm going to read. Uh, here I have my laptop. So the tournament info is that it's on August 31st on Sunday. It's coming up soon. Uh, as I said, it's at Pack Wars. But pre-registration will be held the day before on Saturday at Frankincense at the official MMD booth. Uh, the entry fee is $15. If you pre-register, it's $14. I know, pretty good savings there, right? Um, top 16 will get mats and first place will get the SJC Gold Sark. It's in uh, near slash near mint condition. It's in its case and everything. So that's pretty cool. And yeah, so I will have also the information down in the description below. Be sure to check out the MMD Facebook um, as well as like Twitter and all that because I will have the information there as well. It's probably easier to get the information off the uh, Facebook because uh, it's probably like laid out better than like Twitter. But Go check it out. I would love to see you guys there. I'm hoping for a good turnout. Uh, turnout. I don't know if I'm going to be working the event or playing, so I can't promise you that I'll be playing in the event, but we can definitely talk uh, and hang out and all that good stuff. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and I will see you later. Bye. Hey guys, if you would like to stay in touch with me, please check out my social networking websites as well as multi-monster deals for awesome coverage and articles. But anyway, guys, I will see you later. Bye.